What's up creators, my name is Jay, and in this video, I will show you how to use special effects and adjustments in your design, as well as doing a step-by-step -step tutorial of how to use the elements of content graph design, bringing all of this stuff together. So now we're gonna move over to our computer, phone, or tablet. And for this video, we will be using the application Canva. Canva is a amazing tool for uh, beginners because it has a beginner friendly UI or user interface. And that just means that it's easy to get to, you know, the little things that matter so that you can complete the project. So with that being said, we're going to pull up Canva. So what we see here is that at the top, and this may look different on the desktop, but I'll show that one as well. But we have some pre-made templates. So I see we have a Instagram post, we had a logo, Facebook post, flyer, flyers, posters, invitations. But for this one, our first element is size. So it's very important to pick the right size. I like to use a the square ratio, the one-one ratio. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on custom dimension and I'm just gonna type in 1080 by 1080. Boom. All right, now I see that I have my canvas it just popped up. Now it says to tap to edit background. It's interesting. So I'm gonna hit the plus sign and you can see on the tablet how we have text, images, videos, illustration, shapes, stickers, logos, templates, and a new page. On the desktop is gonna look a little different but here, since we've already identified what our size is gonna be, the next thing that we're gonna do is to create a message. And I figured that, you know, we make something inspirational, something that anyone can get behind or anyone would never get tired of hearing. So let's say for this one, I'm gonna say, do good, right? Because, you know, as creators, no matter what we decide to do in life, we, we should always give it our best, our 100%. 100% <laughs> we should always give everything our 100% best rather it be for work or in relationships we want to do good by other people so to do that we're going to move on to our next one which is text we're going to click on text and you see that we have some already pre-made options um wow so after this we're just basically going to uh -oh, I smashed the wrong button here. So I'm just gonna try to go back, go back to text, um, add a text of your own, and we're gonna just type in do good. Awesome. Okay, so we have that, and now we kind of see that. So we have, okay, so we have that, and now we kind of see that we have these other type faces or in this case it would just be a font so we would just click on that if we want to change it so if you see the, the little golden crown rather on desktop or on tablet or on your mobile phone it just means that in order to use these fonts or these types of um, options you would have to upgrade to the paid version but I really haven't run into anything to where like I feel like I'd absolutely need to use the paid version, not saying that it's not necessary, but um, we could just, from here, we can just like find a free font that, you know, it's kind of gonna resonate with our audience. And if we don't feel like doing the stroll, we could easily just type something in, yeah? But let's see. Let's go back here and we're going to go with a sans serif. No, we're gonna go with a serif, it's fancy. So we're gonna go with, let's just choose this one. Okay, that was not so hot. <laughs> let's just type one in. Um, Let's go. Here we go. Right there. Okay. So now that we have our message, well, now that we have our size, we have our message. We just picked our font. And let's see, like, let's just say, like, you wanted to change the weight of the font. You could just hit bold. 
and you know it increases the weight of it let's say we wanted to italicize it um, this one's grayed out that just basically means that that's not in its uh, font family so you would have to do something custom basically tilt it over or um, and another thing that I noticed talking about font family um, and typefaces that in uh, other programs usually when you click on a font it'll show you the font family and basically it'll just look like a uh, bold semi bold italics condensed and um, that's the way you can tell if the application will present to you the entire font family you'll be able to click on it and see all the other fonts that are kind of um, relevant to that font family so hope that makes sense um, to increase the size we can just go over here and just adjust this little toggle hit done um, we have spacing which is really cool um, so in other programs you may see uh, uh, tracking I know in affinity designer it's called tracking so basically you would just like adjust this toggle and it's going to I was touching the wrong one it's going to um, it's not stretching the actual font it's increasing the space in between each letter so it's really neat so after that we're just going to go out of this because the next thing we're gonna go to is our um, shape element so we're gonna add a shape we're gonna click on shapes and for this one we see that we have circles, squares triangles and many more and they're all free which is good so the next thing we want to do is click on the square our square shape comes up in our document and one thing i really like that canva did is that uh, if you can see these red lines that are popping up these are going to help you to make sure everything is centered and um in your in your composition so it's really really cool and another thing that just happened on the tablet is that automatically I can see the colors. So I can change my colors right over on the side. So that's really, really cool. So I can change it to any color. Let's say you want to get to a color quicker. You can just like click on that and basically do some adjustments. So it's really, really cool. So I'm just going to click off of that and the next thing we're going to move over to is our image um and an image can be a few things an image could be an actual photograph it could be a pattern or it could be a texture so for this one we're just gonna click images and we're gonna click you can right here we're on the tablet version it says allow assets so it's gonna ask for assets to get into your mobile device or your tablet so that it can upload the image but let's say that we wanted to use canvas um, library um, once again you see there are a lot of different things to choose from oh man okay so if our message was do good let's search for hands I really feel that that'll kind of communicate what we're trying to get across so let's just try to find a image here uh, okay well I really like this one so we're gonna go with this one um kind of fits the colors so I want to just make that bigger and we're gonna try to crop this image and how we do that is we tap on it and we can go over here so I'm noticing that this is a little different than the than the uh, the desktop version because on the desktop version you would click on it twice and you would uh, see the um, the adjustments on the side that allow you to crop the image so it's kind of the same thing on the tablet version so it's really cool Cool. So like once we have our image crop, um, we kind of notice something. I'm missing my message. So the way I can get that situated is that I'm going to click off of it, click back on it, and we're going to try to figure out how do we send our image to the back. So I'm going to click on that. 
and you can notice over here in the top right corner the so it's like a diamond with an arrow going down i would assume that that's how to send the image backwards and it is so we also want to send our shape backwards so we're just going to do the same thing and we're just going to send that back once more because we want to find our message and boom there it is so we got our message back up but it's really hard to kind of like see it now um so let's go ahead and change it from black to white okay that's looking way better and i'm just gonna make that a little smaller and the cool thing about this image is that um if you look at it um it's almost as if the 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 lady's hands and the plant are creating a shape so we can we can uh lean into this a little bit so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring this down to the point about right here. I'm just gonna try to make the image itself a little bigger. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna click on it. Uh-oh. <laughs> and we wanna click on that. I'm gonna go up with it. Okay, so I guess I can't do that. But let's say if I was going to do this on the desktop version, I would basically click on it and make some minor adjustments to get it to where the the plant is pointing at the do good. It's almost like your eyes are guided to to the actual um actual plant itself. So going to hit that and we'll leave that like that for right now. And um, on the topic of uh, images as well, we talked about texture. So let's say that we wanted to add our own texture to the background. We would uh, click the background and we would go to camera roll and we'd be able to just go ahead and upload our own texture. So in this case, we're just going to go ahead and move over to our effects. So what we want to do is we want to click on the image and we want to go to filters. And you can see that on the tablet version that we have some different options to go with. It's kind of like the filters that you would see in Instagram, which is really cool. Um, so let's see chills. All right. That's a little little contrast there. That's festive. And if you click on it again, you're able to lower the intensity of it, kind of like the same thing on Instagram. And um, after that, you wanna just go ahead and hit done. And look that we got something good. Um, there's also a advance down here to where you can adjust your brightness, your contrast, and your saturation. Um, there's also blur colorize and vignette you really can't see the change there but we're gonna go ahead and hit done then after that uh, you can see transparency so basically you can make something not so present if we wanted to bring out the background color for this one we don't um, and we just want to go back to we're hit done so I hope that this video has really helped. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. And if you like this type of content, feel free to subscribe. But that's all I have. I will see you guys in the next one.